All right, it's almost that time to get your family in the car. Getting ready for a family road trip should not feel like a chore. It should be fun, which can be done with a little bit of planning and a little bit of organization. So we brought in the expert herself, organization expert Ty Edwards, with all things in place, and she's here to help simplify the whole process. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good to see you. I love road trips. Do you like road trips? I do, but they're a little different when you have children. Involved exactly. in the road trip. <laughs> Especially the smaller ones can be more challenging. Yes. Um, boy, yes. What, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh, any adults yeah. kind of ask that too. Okay, That's so, true. so we are going to say get ready. Get right? ready. We want to start with a planning, uh, planning process. Talk to your family. Bring them all together and say, hey, we're planning a road trip. Um, it's important to, to know exactly how much time you have. So you can kind of lay out the lay of the land and mm -hmm. say, we're going to go for X amount of days. We're going to stop here, stop here. But if you allow the children to feel like they're a part of it, it makes a big difference. Um, get out your, the old trusty uh, road atlas. Yes. <laughs> These are hard to find anymore. Are they really? They are. Wow. Well, you know, Gorman, you know. <laughs> But see these as we as we show it again. Mm -hmm. This this old school map right here. This is a big deal because when your apps go mm -hmm. out, when you have no cell service, there you go. They're they're gold. Yes. And I think it's also good. Um, it's a teaching moment because I yes. think anytime you um, have children, they need to learn things that we learned that they don't get that opportunity anymore. So a road map can teach them about road signs, um, what this sign mean, what mm -hmm. that sign mean, how how far to the next one, mile markers, things like that. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, pull out your road map highlighter and let's uh, start planning. I love that you say to plan the trip and, and stop along the way t uh, at stops that appease everybody mm -hmm. in the car. So everybody has something to look forward to. Exactly. So if you know that you're on your way to go see that big ball of twine or the largest <laughs> beagle, uh, um, that makes it a little bit more enjoyable. And it's not like what mom wants to do or what big brother wants to do. It's about something that I want to do. Family consensus. And mm -hmm. the front seat is a big deal because you need a navigator. <laughs> you do need a navigator. And it's important if, if the child is old enough to be in the front seat. Okay. It's important to allow them, you know, if it, even if it's more than an hour, maybe hour and a half or something, uh, while they're sitting in the front seat, they also have the opportunity to navigate with the map and say, Dad, this far to the rest area or something like that. Make <laughs> them feel important. Tell them to face forward, though. Don't look back and tease everybody <laughs> because you're up front. Not that I haven't been there or anything. Everyone's time will come. <laughs> Your next tip is get set and pack. Get set and pack. Now, we all love food in the car. I, I think that's one of the, the things that my daughters liked when we did a, a, a road trip to uh, Disney World. So you always have to make sure you have favorite uh, fruit, um, just all sorts of snacks. Hey, a little snacks. Um, mm -hmm. um, my husband likes sunflower seeds when he drives because um, cracking the nuts makes them just a little bit more conscious, you know. And so he needs an extra cup. So he yes. has something to do with those extra yes, sunflower seeds. Yes, but he, seeds. that's his, his thing. But uh, fruits, uh, uh, granola, mm -hmm. chips, cookies, things that are easy to just grab and eat. Um, I would also suggest um, instead of a, a big cooler, get a, get a small cooler little bit of ice because you can always get more ice right. and then just have uh, extra cases of drinks in the car. And don't forget the first aid kit too. First aid kit is always. And the pillows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can roll them up behind your little right, neck. Right. Okay, so now you're ready to hit the road. Mm -hmm. And before you hit the road, you need a good solid breakfast. Yes, if you, uh, full, a full family is a happy family. <laughs> <laughs> and they will sleep a little bit, I yeah, think. They will. So it's important just to have um, just whatever it is that makes uh, that make them happy, you know, pancakes, things like that. Um, and then once uh, the, you hit the road, they will be a little bit more excited, but they'll be a little bit more relaxed. They'll sleep a little bit, then they'll wake up, and then they'll want to do things. And that's why it's important to have extra activities for the kids when they wake up. And you encourage, though, not a lot of electronics, though. Not Minimal a, electronics. Because I think in the, in the car, mm -hmm. it's a time for togetherness. It's a time to reconnect, because we, we're always so plugged into our cell phones and yes, um, yes. iPods and things like that. You don't talk like as a family like you used to. So I'm, I'm, I do encourage um, the DVD player, but also try classic movies, things that you recall that your kids may not have want to watch, but you know they're a captive audience. So mm -hmm. a classic might be a fun, a fun way to introduce it. And kind of tap their little shoulders and say, "Look outside. There yes. is so much beautiful scenery. Yes. You, we've waited all year for this, yes. and here you are looking down. Right. Look around. Exactly. Very good point. And that's the, another reason why I think um, little cameras like this it would be very important to the little ones, so they can create their own memories. Doesn't it make you feel a little old though when, you, when your kids are like, "What's this thing? What do you do yeah. that? It's not. <laughs> it's not digital." <laughs> you know, how do I see card? the picture? 
<laughs> and then last but not least, you say break often. Break often. Um, no one wants to just jump in a car, go from point A to point B, and mm -hmm. it does make for a long trip. But if you get out of the car, stretch your legs, look around, take in, um, and I'm very spiritual, but just taking God's be beautiful surroundings. Amen. It's yeah. one of those things that you, you you may not get that opportunity again. And this is why your tip said, ready, set, and go. Yes. Ty, thank you so you much. So You've helped a lot of families right now. Just keep some patience and peace. You can find a link to Ty on our website, KCTV5.com. Just click on the Better KC tab.